Hey guys, um, I'm here to show you a tutorial on how to um, use MVQ maps to optimize your lighting in Source SDK for games such as Counter Strike Source, Half Life 2 Deathmatch, and Team Fortress 2. Right now, I am currently running the game for the Half Life 2 engine, so there's no going to be there's no portal textures in it and everything. So I have just regular Half Life 2 metal textures in here. So that means it's pretty easy to make by yourself, just to test it out. Um, as you can see, I have four different chambers. Each one has a different style. Here's snow. For some reason, the precipitation isn't working in it. But here's a dust style. Here's a combine style with a grass floor, which makes no sense. And then here's a dock slash canals style. So each one has lightings up in the corner and light spots and regular lights. And I prefer the light spots on everything I work with, but I'm putting the lights there to show you how NVQ maps can optimize your thing, your maps that you work with. Okay, so the first thing you need to know about them is that they are have to be the head height of the player. And to figure that out, all you have to do is type in dev for the textures. Let me resize that. should have done that when I, before I started. Man, I'm sloppy! Um, find the 64 crate, and then go place it somewhere on the ground. Make sure it's in the right spot. Okay, so you see the box. It's a pretty little box. Um, now go into your entities, type in env underscore cube map. Now put it on top of it. So, no, that's not... You see that they're off, and that's still not right. So what you need to do is you just need to go down to here and make sure it's at that height. Um, easiest way to do it is with this ratio for the thing where the box is four squares. And then just go and delete the box. Then you have your Q map in the right spot in the right height. That's if you're working with a flat surface. You can try and figure it out on surfaces like this if you want to. <laughs> but it's not that big of a problem. So I'm going to delete that because I already have that Q map there. <laughs> So, I have all my lights, different colors, all my different areas, so I can show you what it'll be like in-game. So, I'm going to compile the map and show you what it'll be like, and show you how to make sure it looks good in your map. Okay, so, now that I've compiled the map, you can see that it looks the same as if you just compiled it normally without QMaps all the reflections in the walls still look like crap and some of my things aren't there, like that car is not there and so all the walls and everything looks like crap look at the nice screen, I was not looking at porn keyboard, looks like crap, whatever anyways, so all the walls look like crap nothing looks different, so go into your console and type in build cube maps I went slow to show you, it'll do that every time you do it and then you click resume game. Now everything looks so much nicer. You can see the reflections on the walls. Um, the lighting looks better too. It e you can totally tell the difference. Um, see all the reflections on all the walls. There's they just look better, except for this one because that's not a reflective metal. This roof texture really nice with the Q map. So that's what you have to do in game. Once you do it once, you don't have to do it ever again for the same map unless you make big changes in Hammer. So that's how you do it.